moral dry rot. The word of God has long been available to us today, but it was held hostage by popes and priests back in the day who interpreted the scripture the way they thought best, locking away the Bible, chaining it like it was under arrest. When things are put away for a long, long time, they tend to begin to decay and rot, no longer prime. Not so with God's word, its quality remains intact, even as the devil tries everything to hide and attack. God inspired men like Martin Luther to seek out the truth, to investigate the falsehood of men and get to the root who realized that the just shall live by faith alone, not through penance and punishment or lashes and broken bones. And here we are in our modern technological sphere, yet we are totally, seemingly ignorant and unaware that there is still power in that same old book that these men of old wrote. We don't even care to look. Is it why today we have so much moral dry rot and decay? Because the preserving, saving power of God is going away? How society has put being godly on a back shelf and is thinking only about me, I, and myself? If that is so, the Bible in fact is telling a true story of men who will be lovers of themselves and lovers of money, who are boastful and abusive, harsh and proud, ungrateful and unholy, disobedient to parents out loud. Lord, help us to realize our destitute state before here at the end of time, it's not too late to dust off and read the Bible so many have forgot so that we don't end up with moral dry rot. This video was brought to you by the media department of the Seagland Central Seventh-day Adventist Church. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching our video.